I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is focused on identifying the strength in a dealt hand because that's the first step to actually picking a hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice to determine which player we are. I rolled a six, so we're going to be player two. Player two is a non-dealer, so we'll get 13 tiles. We have jokers, a flower, east and west, pair of red dragons, single two, pair of sixes, eight, nine in bams, and then a single seven. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If this were my dealt hand, I would focus on winds and dragons. And there are a couple of hands that use number tiles. With east and west, it's evens, and we have a pair of sixes. So I would hold those. I would play east and west with dragons or east and west with sixes and discard those. For the first pass, maybe pass these three. If we pass these, we're passing two year tiles. Here we're passing two consecutives. It's probably six, one half dozen the other. I would probably pass those. So east and west with dragons, east and west with sixes would be my initial thoughts and then see what comes in. If we get dragons, go with winds and dragons. If we get sixes specifically, we have our hand, east and west with sixes. It helps that we have jokers, because really any six will give us the potential with no gaps. East and west with sixes would be hand number five under winds and dragons. East and west with dragons would be hand number three on the right. For this next one, I rolled in 11. 8, 9, 10, 11 is west. So we are going to be player 3. We have a joker wins with a pair, cracks, singles, dots. We have five all singles and then a single five bam. So this is our only pair. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If this were my hand, I would build around the multiple south. We have a joker, so I wouldn't consider a pair hand. Some people might consider news with sevens, news with fours maybe, but we'd have to throw away a joker. I think I would try for maybe north and south with sevens, so I would hold the sevens. And then by process of elimination, come up with other plans because we have a lot of discards there. So another potential that we have with wins would be a year hand. 
So I would hold year tiles. There is a hand actually in the Wind and Dragon category that uses a block of year tiles. It's the second hand down. Kong of North, single East, single West, Kong of South with year tiles. Since I'm holding some year tiles, I'm going to hold all of the year tiles because we could potentially play the concealed news year hand under the year category. So I would discard those and for my first pass, one of each suit. I rolled a seven, that would be west. We're gonna be player three. I will get 13 tiles. We have a flower east with a pair of souths. Then we have four dots, including a pair, four bams, including a pair, and a crack. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on evens, two, four, six, eight. That would use two multiples potentially when you have multiples that don't go together, you want to make a plan for the most of your multiples. In this case, two six with two four six eight and give these up. Sometimes they don't go together. So I would focus on evens. We could pass those. I try not to pass two wins together because news is on the card. And there are single east-west tiles. Really one, the second hand down under Winds and Dragons. So between news, that second hand down, the news pair hand, I try not to pass two wins. Here we have the potential for a pair hand, we'd have to give up a six, or we could play maybe the second hand down under evens, two, four, six, eight, pong, kong, pong, kong, no gaps. So we could make this pass better by putting a even tile in there. And we could make our next pass better by breaking that up maybe send one at a time, but at least we're not going to be stuck with a pair in case we get everything we want. So I would break up the pair in this case. Some people might think, well, why not keep those for joker bait? Let's say that we pass that and then we get maybe a four bam, six dot, eight dot. I suppose we could pass these two, but if we get everything we want, six dot eight dot four bam we would have to pass a pair i wouldn't want to do that so i would break this up now and that way if we were to pass this this is better than passing that so that's why i would break that up now break that up focus on two four six eight maybe a pair hand but probably second hand down under two four six eight because it's mixed suits. Sometimes it's clear what category to play based on the predominant pattern in the hand or maybe even the multiples. 
but sometimes when you have no multiples, all singles, mixed suits, and even winds or dragons, you could probably pick any one of the categories on the card and just focus on that category and gather. By process of elimination, identify discards, and then if a multiple forms, reassess and then build around the multiple. There are videos that I've made on this strategy. Look in the video description below so you can check it out. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random polls for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.